part two, mid-segment of a trapezoid. The mid-segment of a trapezoid, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw our trapezoid, and I'd like to draw my bases going left to right, it's just easier. What the mid-segment does is it connects the two midpoints of our legs. So here, EF is the mid-segment, and the definition of a mid-segment is the segment that connects the midpoints of the legs of a trapezoid. So it's the segment that connects the midpoints of the legs. This brings us to theorem 8.17, and that tells us that the mid-segment of a trapezoid is parallel to each base, and its length is one half the sum of the lengths of the bases. So what we find out is that EF is parallel to AD and BC. Also, EF equals one half of AD plus BC. So if we knew that AD was 20 and BC was 16, then EF is going to be right in between those two lengths, meaning that EF will be 18. Or we could actually use the equation and show 1 half 16 plus 20, which is 1 half of 32, or 36, which is 18. All right, here's an example for you. Given the trapezoid on the screen, find the missing lengths. Go ahead, work this through on your own first, and resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. Okay, we do have a mid-segment because it connects midpoints. Because it connects midpoints, that means it's cutting our legs in half. So if EA is 17, then DE is also 17. If CF is 22, then FB is 22, which means CB is 44. And lastly, for EF. EF is going to equal one half of our two base numbers added together. So EF equals one half of 57 plus 76. We add 57 plus 76, and we're going to get 133. So EF is, there we go, one half of 133. Divide 133 by 2, we get that EF is 66.5. And that's it. Okay, th if you are comfortable with mid-segments, the fact that a mid-segment is parallel to the two bases and is half the length of the sum of the bases, and you can solve problems, then go on to part 3, where we talk about kites.